In this Debanco University video, I'm going to look at visual trichome evaluation to determine peak harvest time, utilizing images uh, from students in my class, as we can see located right here, to try to investigate trichomes and give a grower viewpoint so you can best relate it to potentially something that you might be able to see yourself. All right, let's get into looking into everyone's favorite structure, the trichomes. So first off, well, why should we even look at the trichomes? Well, remember, trichomes provide an indication of the plant's ripeness and cannabinoid and terpene concentrations. Visual evaluations, which will be provided here, may not provide the exact number, but it can indicate when the greatest concentrations of these compounds are likely to occur in the plant. A plant sample chemically analyzes the best method in providing with a certificate of analysis, though this is a time, time consuming and costly, so out of the reach for most growers. So the visual inspection can get very close to the peak harvest with minimal cost, helping growers maximize production. can also help growers utilizing the chemical analysis for when they should sample their plants to be submitted for their certificate of analysis. So we've got our different trichomes. Well, the bulbous ones are the smallest ones. You really need an aid to be seen. Yes, we can kind of make them out here and a little bit here, uh, but they're very difficult because of their size to be seen. They can synthesize cannabis and terpenes, so just because they're small doesn't mean they're not contributing. Um, they can swell in size once they fill with oil. The sessile ones are the larger uh, than the bulbous ones, but still hard to see with the naked eye. And they develop early about on um, three week old plants or so, so they can be seen quite early. However, the stalked um, glandular capitate trichomes are the ones most growers are focusing on. They are the large ones and they can be seen with the naked eye and they're the prized trichomes that appear during flowering. And, but they are also, because of their stalked nature, most likely to get damaged as well. So what are we looking at? What are we actually looking at when we look at their trichomes? Well, an individual inflorescence here with the majority of the organs covered with stalked glandular trichomes. The arrow right here indicates the cluster of calices and, and bracts covered with those trichomes. B is looking at a dark field micrograph of stalked glandular trichomes protruding from the calyx of the epidermis. Biosynthesis of secondary metabolites occurs in the secretory disc cells lining the base of the uh, globular trichome head, and the metabolites are stored in the clear uh, portion here at the top here, um, and they will turn milky white to brown over the course of the flower maturity, which we'll see in the images coming up. The graphic illustration here for stock trichome structure, giving some idea of kind of the uh, locations of different cells and differentiated cells, I should say, within that stocked trichome. So we'll look at the color differences. These are distinctive clear, cloudy, and amber. So clear, you can think of it as being quote unquote empty and basically not ready for harvest. If you can see right through it, quote, there's nothing in there. Then we get the cloudy ones, and those are increased levels of cannabinoids as well as terpenes. And the amber ones are, con are the con converting in this stage uh, desirable compounds into maybe changing to less desirable compounds, basically becoming a little bit, quote, overripe in some cases um, there. So we're really looking for this cloudy to amber kind of range uh, there. All right, so can we use the pistols? You know, I know we're going to talk focus on the trichomes, but can we look at the pistols? Well, pistols can provide a quick guide, but this is really the trichomes where the cannabinoids and terpenes are stored, so this is the plant part that should be absorbed with attention to detail. Typically recommend to use the pistils as kind of just a quick indication, quick way to kind of look at the flowers um, as you're going down a row or looking at a plant, but really kind of drives the, oh wait, those look a little more of the ambery color. Let me now look at the trichomes. And this will be a little bit variety and genotype dependent, but the pistils can be used as an indication, but we really want to use the trichomes as the final determination of whether we should be harvesting something or not. And again, pistols located here, trichomes are those clear whitish structures located right next to the leaf surface. So the traditional method, of course, is to use a loop. It works great and still recommended, but it can be hard to really share what's seen. You know, it's really hard for me to kind of have a loop, look at something, and then you know, give the loop to someone else and have them look at it. Um, so kind of you've got to develop the eye. you got to get really up close and personal with it, and it takes a little getting used to. Um, however, there is something called the Maxi Camera, again, not sponsored by them in any ways. A student had brought one of these in, and we used to, utilized it in class, and you'll see some images from that. It's a compact handheld camera, microscope, that can connect an electronic device, allowing you to live to kind of see what's going on and to capture those images. 
So these are actual images uh, from class. Uh, I teach uh, at the University of Connecticut. These were taken of the abacus plants uh, from class in weeks six to eight of flower with the help of a student's Maxi camera. And thanks goes out to Aaron for the use of that. Um, so you could be able to capture some of these images you're seeing. This is a macroscopic look of what one of the buds looked like. And now we're gonna take a little bit more of that zoomed in version there of the trichome structure. So first off, the pistils that I just talked about, while we don't want to use them for indication, they can contain trichomes. So there are still some trichomes that have developed on the pistils. These are not the ones really to focus on. Not all trichomes contain the desirable compounds. The amber brown color of the pistil here um, is an indication that this flower is nearing harvest time, but it is the inspection of the trichomes that really makes the final decision on when to harvest. So here we see kind of mostly clear trichomes, so close but not yet. The stalked capitate trichomes can be seen, however most are clear, indicating that it's too early to harvest. There are some initial kind of cloudy trichomes, but overall population must be taken into consideration, and most of them are clear in nature there. So a little too early, but good to start looking. Now the previously clear are basically now turning cloudy as we can see that right here. This indicates an increase in the amount of cannabinoids the plant is producing and we're nearing that point of harvest there. So this is kind of an exciting time, a uh, good time to kind of prepare the plant for that final area there, that final harvest that's coming very soon. Now note, uh, I've tried to put some purple arrow highlights that some are having these purple colorations um, to the stalks. Now this is mainly genetics and um, that caused this and not environmental factors, though it is possible for the grower to enhance the color based on various plant stressors. Temperature, light spectrum, and light intensity are a couple of those that can enhance this, but really has to come from the genetics at least initially. And some are more apt to produce more purple coloration uh, than some other varieties. Again, this is mainly uh, abacus. So there's purple concentrations. That, again, you can see on the flower macroscopically as well as kind of almost microscopically here. This is a sign of anthocyanin production. This is a water-soluble pigment in, in, that in a larger class of compounds known as flavonoids. So that's a major category. This is a subset of that category. While anecdotal, some people have reported better symptom relief with um, the pr in the presence of anthocyanins. So something to consider um, if you're looking at you know different varieties and you kind of see some of that purple coloration anthocyanins might be something you want to look at as a, a certificate of analysis report. Now peak cloudiness as we kind of see here um, this would be the earliest recommended harvest but typically the goal is to see a few ambers before harvesting. This is a sign that we're just almost quite there um, and we could see again that high concentration of those cloudy trichomes there. Again that camera does a really good job of really zooming in and allowing you to see what I can see through a loop but to convey it to you here on an image. And then lastly here, these are the first ambers being seen. This would be the harvest point. We could see that here and here, and this really indicates that probably this would be the best time or the optimum time um, to harvest. When you just, just start seeing the first go in amber, if you're starting with a new variety, go ahead and um, harvest at this time. You can harvest some a little earlier, a little bit later, and depending on what compounds you're looking for, that may indicate your exact time of harvest. If you're looking for a general recommendation, you see a first couple start to turn amber, harvest it. Um, and use that as your gauge point uh, going forward. Hopefully this helped you with some real world images to see trichome development, share with you what some of the students had grown, um, and hope you appreciated those images.